Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to uh, look at how to create a wine glass in this uh, project number four. In the process, you are going to look at how to use a 2D shape uh, and then convert that 2D shape into a 3D object. And then we are going to look at uh, what are the uh, options available for us in uh, 2D to manipulate the 2D shape. So let us get started. I'm going to file reset. I'll save this file. The first thing you need to do is uh, find an image of a wine glass online and then use that as a reference uh, to create your object. So what I'm going to do is create a plane and then assign the image to this plane so we will have a reference to work with. Okay, I'll move this plane above the grid so the grid doesn't cross the plane. And what we have to do is we have to assign a material uh, to this plane and then we have to assign the image to that material so that that image will be visible onto the plane. So if you hit the M key on the keyboard, uh, your material editor opens and then simply drag the standard material and then select the object right click on the material and assign the material to the object you can see that it has become gray now which is the color of this material if I double click on this material this is these are the material properties and then I can change the color of the material but instead of changing the color I want to add an image so if you look at the diffuse, there's a button here next to it. You click on it and then we are going to use an image map uh, and there are multiple options for an image map which are default but we are going to add an image. So we'll double click on bitmap and we need to find, I have saved this image from the internet so I'll open that one. Now the, the image has been added to the material but it is still not visible. On the viewport. So if you right click here, there's an option here which says show shaded material or you can also use show realistic material in the viewport and then that will uh, bring that material onto the viewport. Now you can see the back side is black and then the front side you see the image. So if you want to see the image on both the sides, this is not a material tutorial but I'll just cover this one small thing. You can see two sided here and then you can see that the material is visible on both the sides. Now what we need is the material to be visible in the front view because we are going to create a 2D shape and we need uh, to follow this profile of the glass to create the object. Okay, now I'll select the plane and move it back because when we create our uh, 2D shape, it will be created here. And we don't want this object to be selected by mistake. So what we are going to do is right click on the object and go to object properties. And in the object properties, freeze the object and deselect this option which is show frozen in gray. And once you do that, now you are not able to select the object anymore. You can also click on the G, grid, uh, G key on the keyboard to hide the grid. Now I'll zoom into this. And now this is the geometry standard primitives. We are going to the next tab which is the 2D shapes and there's a line so I'm going to click on the line and how you do it is you simply click once and then you click at the bend here then you need another bend here you need another bend here and then the last bend is going to be here and then I will right click to get out of it and then I'll click on the move tool so if you look at the perspective 
you have created a line. Now to make this line even more visible, if you go to the modify panel, if you go to rendering, click on enable in viewport and then the line becomes thick. So you can see that the line has become thick and you can also change the color of the line so it is further visible. So I'll make it red. So if you look at the front view now, it's more easier for the line to be seen. Okay. Now, if you click on the line tool, there is a vertex. We'll select this vertex. Right click on it and then make it smooth. And then we'll slightly adjust it a little bit. We'll do the same thing here and make it smooth. We'll click here and make it smooth as well. Okay. Now we need more control over how these lines work. So what we are going to do is right click on this. So this is the steps you need to follow. You start with curves. Uh, this is not necessary, but it's just a standard practice like certain things. If you do it in a certain way, get used to doing it in a certain way, then life becomes easy. So always create a corner, then make it smooth. And after you make it smooth, then use Bezier. Don't directly go to Bezier curves. What happens when you use a Bezier is if you have used Illustrator, you will know that these Bezier handles will allow you to control your curve. So now the curve is falling nicely here again also we'll do the same thing we'll use bezier and then you can move it inside same thing we'll do here we'll make it bezier and then you can then manipulate the curve to get the profile you want all right now what we need is a thickness of the glass later on when you add a glass material to this if it is a single line then it may not look nice so what we need to do is we need to make a thickness which comes from here to here so I'm going to show you one more tool here if you click on segment there's a refine option. So if you click on the refine option, you can add more vertices to this line. So I did two more vertices there. And then I will move this top vertex and move it down here. this vertex I'll right click and make it smooth I'll undo it a few times I don't know why it's not behaving properly Let us convert all these three into vertex. Vertex. Corner. Corner. Okay, then I'll select this and move it here. In the middle. This moves here slightly down this moves here slightly up and then I'll refine it here to add one more line and move it here make it smooth and then make it bezier 
so you can then control it same way here will become smooth this becomes smooth then this becomes bezier where is that other one it's here will become bezier and now you will have a better control over your line move these around okay try to be consistent with the line okay so be consistent with the curve there That looks good and then same thing you can do at the bottom also refine a couple of times to add points this point goes here this point goes here then the thickness will go here we make this smooth make this smooth make this smooth make it busy drag it out drag this out try to follow the shape busy here just have fun understand how the busy curves behave and try to create that profile of the glass <clears throat> this of course going to take some practice to master okay. and it looks good now you can see that you have created a profile of the glass and once that is done we will add a lathe modifier so you have to search for lathe and then you see once you add the lathe modifier it if you have ever worked on a lathe machine you know what lathe modifier is but what it does is it rotates the object along the axis now you can see that the glass is almost done but it's dark all you need to do is flip the normals here and then the glass is created now if you zoom in you can see that the it's not very smooth so all you need to do is increase the number of segments and then you get a nice smooth glass if you move it around you can see now there is an opening so if you look at the front view if you go to wireframe and then you will select the axis the line is ending before the axis so if you go to the vertex this one and this one you can click on this button here and if you move it around it will close that gap and I guess you will have to again click on the flip normals to get that object and now there won't be any hole also this one here I guess it went too far
Well, sometimes you have to flip the normals, sometimes you don't, but that's about it. Okay. See, most of the times you're not going to see the glass upside down, but if you want the glass upside down and then it has to be perfect, then you can work on the geometry the way you want. Okay. Make sure that you rename this object to glass. And then you can unfreeze all, select this one, delete it, and all you're left with is your glass. Don't forget to look at my other tutorials. So uh, I'll be covering all the elements of how to create 3D objects how to render, how to texture map, how to animate, up to character animation and special effects. Uh, so uh, keep watching other tutorials. Thanks.